on, you guys. Let's get to pottery class. We need to be willow to the kiln, to the sign-up sheet for that kiln. Come on. Willow, haven't you heard? She's missing. Everybody's talking about it. Oh, no, hon, that ain't true. I was just in Art's room the other day, finishing up with Iris and Patience, and she told me that Will left her pot in the kiln overnight because they was walking in the butterfly garden together and just lost track of time. No, no, she's right. There are rumors all over the perch about Willow. In fact, I heard, I don't want to believe, that Iris found out that Willow was stealing supplies from the art room. You know, I have no problem believing about her stealing, but Iris and Willow would not walk together. They hate each other. In fact, they had a huge fight in class a couple of weeks ago. Willow took Iris's pot out of the kiln to put her pot in. Iris's pot flattened, she was so furious. Well, now that doesn't make any sense. Why would they be walking in the butterfly garden together if they was fighting? I mean, either they're made up or maybe the butterfly garden walking was before the fight. Oh, you know, it had to be before. I was out walking my dog and I saw Iris taking Willow's picture over at that bridge. Ew, I never go to that garden. That garden's filled with geckos, hon. And that bridge scares me. It's right over that water pond where they find the alligators in all the time. Mm. Oh my, you don't think that willow fell in that pond and maybe, maybe got eaten by alligators, do ya? Or pushed in? That is crazy, you two. Come on, let's just get to class. Wow, that was a very good game. It was a great game. It's so nice without Willow being here calling on every call. She is so darn competitive. Oh, you mean here? No one has seen Willow in weeks. Really? I hate to say this, but she probably ran into someone that did her in. You know, she finally ticked off that wrong person. Oh, so she argues a lot. That's no reason to kill someone. And besides, no one even knows what happened to her. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if it was Buck the bartender. Oh, okay. You are cut off. You are talking crazy. No, really. She's mean to all the servers. And one of them told me she never tips. And all she does is holler at them all the time if her, if her drink's not just right. They are so nice here. And anyway, no one would... No, no. My neighbor told me she saw her throw a huge fit in front of everybody last week because they wouldn't serve her. She was drunk. And of course, they're not going to serve her. And then she called Buck, an incompetent idiot that couldn't pour a drink even from a can. And what else she did? She threatened to get him fired. What? Come on. How? Oh, you know, it wouldn't be hard to poison those Moscow mules she's always drinking. Well, I guess, but still, no one would do that. Well, maybe you're right, but she's missing, isn't she? Oh, there's that Benny Buttercup again, trying to impress the women with his tan and, and that Speedo. Well, he's quite the playboy around here, you know? Really? I wish you'd look into some longer swim trunks. Some things you just can't unsee. But he seems like a good guy. I see him around a lot. Yeah, wherever the single women are, you'll find him. Dances, cards, tennis, bocce ball, just everywhere. Well, that's nice. He's popular. Yeah, 
Yeah, you could say that, but you know, he takes it too far. Oh, what do you mean? Well, I've seen him cozying up to a lot of the single women around here, but the worst is him and that Willow Wisteria. He just follows her around like a puppy dog, opening doors for her, buying drinks for her. Oh, I know Willow. I played pickleball with her. Now that you mention it, I have seen them together at the pool a few times. He was putting sunscreen on her or something. Are they dating? Well, it depends who you ask. If you ask her, she says no. If you ask Benny, he says yes. You know, she's not even nice to him, and he just won't go away. Why, at the dance last month, he was so upset because she brought that young gigolo of hers, and they were all over each other on the dance floor. Well, he was so jealous, <clears throat> he told a friend of mine he would never forgive her betrayal and that she'd be sorry. Wow, really? You live in the Parrot Bay condo neighborhood, don't you? I do. You know Willow Wisteria? Uh, well, we wave to each other. She lives on the other end of my floor, but I can't say I really know her. Why are you asking? Well, you know I hate to gossip, but someone in my exercise class says she got a package by mistake that was addressed to Willow and it said it was from Happy Endings Massage Company in New York. <laughs> Did you say Happy Endings? Yes. And I think Willow is from New York. <laughs> well, she does get a lot of packages. I just saw a huge stack outside her door. She did have some that had the word intimate on them. Intimate? What could that be? Uh, maybe she's just into massage therapy. I don't know what she's into, but a lot of people are talking about that woman. That's true. She's single. Mm. And always people, especially men, are around her at, at the pool and on the dance floor. People were all over each other. Ah, come on. I think you're letting your imagination go wild here. Maybe she runs a massage business out of her house. Nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It's a massage business. You, you think she's giving happy endings? <laughs> I don't know. What if those aren't intimates? Could it be drugs or something illegal? I remember this movie I saw once where they hid the drugs in boxes marked coffee so no one would suspect. I saw that movie too. They were smuggling better bonds and precious gems and artwork into the country as well. Hmm. hmm. I wonder what she's up to. Oh, be careful crossing the street. Didn't you see the post on Mugbook about that hit and run? Oh, I did. Do you know who was hit or who the driver was? No, but that driver ought to be kicked out of Peacock Perch. All this speeding and running stop signs, it's got to stop. Look what happened. Maybe the driver was a contractor or a delivery person. They're always speeding. Kid who works in the golf shop told me one of the golfers heard the crash and was really upset. He said it's really loud and then he heard a woman screaming and the screaming stopped and the car just drove off. That's horrible. And nobody saw the car? My neighbor was driving into the subdivision and she said she saw a black limousine speeding out the entrance and then heard an ambulance. Who called the ambulance? I heard it was the coroner's van. Oh my God, the woman was killed? Nobody knows. Uh, the server said that special today is an old fashioned Italian dinner. Get carbonara, linguine with either clams or chicken. Cannoli for dessert. Uh, I ordered you a Chianti. Oh, thanks. Uh, mm, tastes like home. I miss New York cuisine. Already? We've only been in Florida a couple of months. 
Well, hey, did I tell you, I thought I saw somebody the other day from the old neighborhood. No, who? That's the thing. She looks so familiar. Um, I think I've seen her at family events before. You mean family events or the family events? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I think she was a secretary. Oh, I think she's the one who planned all those Christmas parties. I think she even worked for the boss. You saw her here? Are you sure? Well, I think so. It looked like her. Um, her name was like a flower or a tree or something like that. Um, didn't she move somewhere? Well, maybe it wasn't her. I mean, after all, when you're new to some place, you're always looking for familiar things and people. Yeah, maybe it could be her. Everybody's moving to Florida. Florida's becoming like New York's out. That's true. Uh, let me know if you see her again. I'd really like to see her. I just don't understand why I have to be inconvenienced again. Is this my life now? A drifter? <laughs> you are the worst FBI handler ever. Yeah, well, Willow, you are no picnic to protect. You could be a little nicer to everybody. Make some friends instead of enemies. I have no idea what you are talking about. I am a delight. I have tons of friends. Really? Look, we track the media in this area and everybody's talking about you. There's a lot of chatter out there about who did you in and how. And it is a long list. No, people are just jealous. That's not my fault. Well, at least keep a low profile this time. I always do. Are you kidding? You should read some of the posts on Mugbook and the Nosy Neighbors app. I never indulge in gossip. Look, you were made. Somebody found out you were here and they put a hit out on you. You think that was an accident? Well, at least let me go back and get some of my things. You let me take so little and I was so rushed. I left my golf cart at the club and my favorite pair of red shoes with flowers on them fell out of my bag. All right, we already took care of the golf cart. But red shoes and flowers, that's not exactly keeping a low profile. I am an autumn. Red is my color. And what about my packages? Yeah, uh, about that. You got to knock off that therapy stuff. Tracks too much attention. Look, I have to do something. And sex therapy is a perfectly legitimate business. I help a lot of people and I save marriages. Couldn't you just sell Avon or something? With all those packages, somebody's going to think you're still in the smuggling business. Oh, of course not. That's how I got into this situation to begin with. I mean, I never had a day to myself since I testified against the boss. I need my tools. Senior sex therapy is a sticky business, you know. Just. Be nice this time, okay? Anyway, you know, this uh, this Mangrove Manor seems like a great place. I can't wait till I retire and move into a place just like it. <laughs> I don't think that would work. You wouldn't fit in. You're way too suspicious of people. Here, it's just party, party, party all the time. Everybody just gets along. 